And we have more propaganda coming out of the West. <sighs> so this article has came out and I just look at it and I'm absolutely dumbfounded uh, by the claim. So as you see the headline, Suspicious drones sighted over German bases training Ukrainians, says the media. But the sub subtitle, if you will, says the military cannot deal with the drones which have been hovering over bases for more than a year, Build reports. Really? Just read a couple of paragraphs here. It says the German military has been reporting suspicious drone sightings over their bases, including facilities used to train Ukrainian troops, the Build tabloid reported on Sunday. German officials have blamed the incidents on Russia while failing to obtain any evidence shedding light on the situation, the paper added. We'll go ahead and read this one here. The first sightings were in October 2022, Bild said, adding that the German, uh, or the General Karsten Brewer, then head of the Budswire Homeland Defense Command, ordered military police to use anti-commercial drone jammers against the intruders. The measure appeared to be ineffective, Bild said, adding that the small unmanned aerial vehicles continued to hover over the German bases while nothing more happened in terms of the drone defense. Now, that is where I have to start calling foul. Because, for one, if they were using something like a DJI drone, you would easily be able to use DJI's program called Aeroscope <laughs> to deal with said drone. But let's say that it wasn't a commercial drone bought off a shelf somewhere. Let's say it's a home-built drone with, you know, um, odd frequencies, we'll say, for, for the transmission of uh, data. We'll just say odd frequencies, right? It doesn't matter. Because all the militaries now have handheld portable uh, signal jammers specifically for drones. It doesn't matter whether this thing would be running off of uh, a, a typical type of, of frequency in a radio transmitter or if it was running off of a, a satellite, it wouldn't matter. Why? Because that equipment jams all signals. All signals. All bands. All signals. I guarantee you, if they used one of those weapons against those drones, that drone would fail to communicate. I can assure you. There is only one type of communication that I can think of that their equipment would not immediately render useless and that's if that was being sent over light like laser for instance then you might have something but I have yet to see anybody try to operate drones based off of laser communications and I don't think you'll see it happen because there's a big problem there could be a bunch of big problems. It depends how many things are between you and the drone. But uh, laser communication, laser data transmission to a drone is not feasible at all. And anything aside from that, whether it's getting a signal from a little bitty handheld remote control, whether it's getting a signal from a satellite, or whether it's getting a signal from a cell tower, because drones now have those capabilities as well. It wouldn't matter because the equipment that the military has will completely scramble any and all communication going to that device with the pull of a trigger. And again, it wouldn't matter whatsoever what frequency you were on. It wouldn't matter whether you were running on a 4G tower or a 5G tower. It wouldn't even matter if you were getting that signal coming in from a satellite because those devices will scramble all of it instantaneously. So once again, we are seeing information brought to the public 
to try to put them in fear in order for them to get the support of the next step they plan to make. What is that step? Well, I guess we'll know soon enough. Shalom.